MBA, later MM, SD, CO, project class like that. So every material you will make as a one book, make as a spiral binding, print out and all. That can help, ma'am. Okay. Everyone, now today topic is some more basic settings. Some more basic settings. So <clears throat> everyone, concentrated everyone. Concentrated everyone. So you, you people already know how to open the SAP. Even wherever you take the server access now. So there you can, the, that people can guide you. Uh, how to open the SAP system, how to open the SAP system. For even for my satisfaction, I will tell you how to open the SAP system, everyone. So click on your, <clears throat> click on your SAP logon. Click on your SAP logon. Then uh, click on your logon. Then enter username and password. Enter username and password, everyone. So this is called SAP Easy Access Screen. SAP Easy Access Screen. <clears throat> everyone, concentrate here. The very, very, very important thing I will tell you, everyone. Example, on which screen consultant will going to work? On which screen end user will going to work? Which screen consultant will be going to work? On which screen? End user will going to work. Example, end user means who? Who is the end user? Try to understand here. End user means who? Who is the end user? End user nothing but accountant. End user nothing but accountant. Basically, what accountant will do on the ERP? Maybe tally, maybe focus, maybe bond, maybe SAP. End accountant, what they will do? Accountant will do one is accounting entry posting. Accountant will do accounting entry postings, vendor invoice posting, customer invoice posting, vendor payment posting, customer payment posting, and GL entry posting, asset accounting entry posting. They will post the accounting entries on the ER and uh, they will generate the reports. They will generate the reports. That's it. On the ERP, they only the two type of activities they will do. Only two types of activities they will do. One is accounting entry postings and one is report generation. Reportings, vendor reporting, customer reporting, asset reporting, bank reportings, GL reporting, rent, rent report. Commission paid report, commission receivable reports. So this type of reports, they will make as a report generation. Everyone, these two activities, these two activities, these two activities, they will do on SAP Easy Access Screen. These two activities, they will do on SAP Easy Access Screen. SAP Easy Access Screen. SAP Easy Access Screen. Everyone, concentrate here, everyone. SAP Easy Access Screen means this screen. This is the one, SAP Easy Access Screen. So on this SAP Easy Access Screen, here they will post accounting entries. Any accounting entries, customer accounting entries, vendor accounting entries. Uh, bank accounting entries, asset accounting entries, all type of accounting entry postings, all type of uh, uh, reports, even master data creation, things they will do in the SAP Easy Access Screen. SAP Easy Access Screen. Example, everyone. Example, I will show you. Example, I will show you. Later, I can explain. Later, I will show you. How to post vendor invoice, how to post customer invoice, everything I will I will explain you. But now you people want to understand in this screen, the uh, end user will make the accounting entry posting and reports. Example, example, everyone. Example, I will tell you. 
uh, here SAP menu, accounting and uh, financial accounting, accounts payable or receivable, accounts payable, then document entry here, invoice posting, invoice posting. I will tell you later how to post the invoice, what is, how to post the invoice and all. Now you people want to understand this one, just basics, everything I will tell you. Okay, but now try to understand this screen used by whom for what purpose. Everyone, concentrate here, everyone. I will ask one question. In the MS office, in the MS office, everyone, in the MS office, we have shortcut keys. Shortcut keys. Shortcut keys, boleto. In the MS office, we are called as shortcut keys. Example, uh, control plus C, control plus V. This is called shortcut keys. And even path also, click on the copy, click on the paste. You can give the path also. Where? In MS office. In MS office. So everyone in the SAP also, in the SAP also, every transaction have T codes. T codes. Every transaction have T code. T code, nothing but shortcut key. But in the MS office, we are called as a T codes. Sorry, MS office, we are called as a shortcut keys. In the SAP, we are called as a T codes. Every transaction have one T code and one path. Every transaction have one T code and one path. For all the transaction, even in the coming classes also, we will show you all the T codes and path. Example, everyone, example, in case, example, in case I want to post vendor invoice, I want to post one vendor invoice, I will explain. Now you try to understand what is the difference between path and T code. How to post the account, one second. One second. Everyone are able to hear my voice clearly? Yes, sir. So my intention is how to post the accounting entries, what is meant by this, what is meant by that, that will come later. In the first class, you be in the basic settings, you people can understand what is the difference between path and T code. Maximum people knows you already working as an end user, but somebody does not know that be patient that people on also want to understand. Example, everyone, example, everyone. In case if I want to post vendor invoice, example, I'm telling. In case if I want to post vendor invoice. So how to post? Example, I'm telling. Later, I will show you how to post and all. Here, you try to understand what is the path and what is the T code. Example, SAP menu, accounting, financial accounting, and uh, accounts payable, document entry, invoice. So this is the path actually. This is the path. SAP menu, accounting, financial accounting, accounts payable, document entry. This is the path. In the coming classes, for each transaction, we will give you path and T codes also. Okay, for your analysis purpose. So this is the path. And what is the T code? T code is FB60. I'll click on FB60. It's going on bros. So see here, vendor invoice posting. Here they will post vendor invoice. How to post? Will come. Don't be hurry. What you people want to understand? So this is the path actually. This is on a path. What is the path? This is the path. No, sir. I am unable to remember the path. You can use T code FB60. Sir, I am unable to remember the path, sir. What can I do? Simply you can use the T code. What is the T code, everyone? Anyone please respond, please. FB60. So where you want to enter the FB60? Here in the command box. Yesterday I said, na, this name. What is this name? 
This name is called command box. Here you want to use the T code. Example, FB60. Here, enter FB60. Press enter button in the keyboard. Enter. Directly it will come. So not only this, every transaction, every transaction have one T code and one path. Example, I will give you one more example. I want to post customer invoice. How to post? What is the path? What is the T code? Everything will explain. But now you people try to understand what is the path and what is the T code. T code, nothing but shortcut key. In the MS office, we are called as a shortcut keys. In the SAP, we want to call as a T codes. Example, I want to post customer invoice. So how to post? Very simple, everyone. Example, SAP menu, accounting, financial accounting, accounts receivable, document entry, here, yeah, FB70 invoice on accounts receivable. If you double, this is the path, actually. You just double click on your, here, customer invoice posting. Here, they will post customer invoice. Read the heading, customer invoice posting. That is the path, actually. Example. No, sir, I don't want to go a path. I can use the T code. For example, I am unable to remember this path. What can I do? Simply here you can enter the T code FB70. Directly you can go there. So what you people want to understand? Like a T code means shortcut key. Even we can give you list of the T codes and list of the paths. Every transaction we will provide you that. Then you can go through. Okay. <clears throat> now, everyone, now my target is now my target is how to hide and unhide the T codes. For example, if you go, if you go to the path, any path, example, if you go to any path, and if you go to the any path, all the T codes is there. FB70 invoice posting. FB75 credit memo posting, F-28 incoming payment posting. If you go any path, all the T codes is there. All the T codes. For each transaction, there is a T code. Each transaction, there is a T code. Now my target is how to hide and unhide. How to hide and unhide end user T codes. Some basic setting. I don't want to see the T codes. T codes, it will work, but just hide the T codes. How to hide? It can even it is hide, it will work. But how to hide? Very simple, everyone. Very simple, everyone. Go to extras. Go to extras. Click on your settings. And remove the tick mark. Remove the tick mark of display technical names. Remove the tick mark of display technical name. Everyone, are you there? I don't know. It's my bad, actually. I don't know. It's suddenly disconnected. So, uh, what is the last word you people miss, everyone? What is the last word? We were saying. Uh... And uh, the technical names. Okay. Hmm. 
So now uh, we successfully hide the technical names. Successfully hide the technical names. Hide the technical names. Now we need to unhide. We need to unhide. How to do that? Same process actually. Same process. Go to extras, settings, and display technical names. Then click on here. Okay. So let's see now. All the, this is the T codes. This is the endings. Not only this, all the T codes will come. All the T codes. Okay. So everyone, do one thing, everyone. Concentrate here, everyone. I will tell you one thing. I will tell you one thing. Sir, either if you want to go, if you want to use any transaction, concentrate here, everyone. If you want to use any transaction, either you want to go through T code or either you want to go through <laughs> one mute everyone please my dear students how many times i want to tell don't disturb to others please everyone don't test my patience please go on mute and listen the class whenever i, I want to ask the question now unmute and tell immediately you can go mute don't disturb the others please otherwise in case if you have any other work please join next class okay please everyone don't please i'm requesting okay if you disturb then my mind will going to again this i need to tell properly so don't miss link chain system will going to miss everyone is a post graduation and graduation so you are more than elder for me some people don't disturb me please don't disturb to others some people very sincerely listening Everyone, concentrate here, concentrate here. If you want to go, if you want to go, or if you want to use any transaction, maybe vendor invoice posting, customer invoice posting, vendor payment posting, customer payment posting. If you want to any transaction, if you want to use any transaction, either you need to go through path, or either you need to go through T code. Either you need to go through T code. There is no other way. So I will tell you one thing, everyone. I will tell you one thing. So every day, every day, I will use only three T codes. Every day, I will use only three transactions. Example, three transactions. Three transactions. One is example vendor invoice and vendor payment. Vendor payment and vendor credit memo. Vendor credit memo. Credit memo. So regularly I can use these three transactions. Regularly you can use this three transaction. For this, regularly I will use this three transaction. Vendor invoice posting, vendor payment, and vendor credit memo. Example, example. If I want to use this three transaction, either you can go through path or either you can go through T code. Is there any other way to go there and to use for more flexibility? Instead of T code and instead of path, Sir, you can set the favorites. I will tell you, sir. Please go on with it. I will tell you. Uh, everyone, everyone, I will tell you one example, everyone. You can now unmute and speak. If you take the mobile, if you take the mobile on the contact list, there is one option. Option name is called favorite. What is the use of favorite? Anyone tell me, unmute and speak. If I find out the person to whom we want to contact. For example, any contact, any contact, if I make as a favorite, what is the changes happened in the contact list? It will be showing top of the list and we can use frequently. Very good. Very good. 
let's you can try it everyone any contact not sap i'm telling different one in the mobile any contact if you make as a favorite that contact list will come on the upper one above one first one it will come so then you can easily call him not required to search not required to enter their uh, their number either you can search in their name and call otherwise you can enter their i mean that people number instead of entering search their name instead of entering that number simply will make as a favorite then if that favorite contact list contact when come on the upper one click on your call everybody use the mobile na? nowadays it's a part of our life okay do you, do anybody analyze favorite yes or no say unmute and say yes no yes sir yes, sir. yes, sir. yes. same yes, sir. way sap also same way in sap also so whatever transaction everyone same way in sap also not only vendor invoice vendor payment and vendor credit memo whatever transaction you can use repeatedly that transaction you will make as a favorite so that favorite list comes under first one first place then you can easily access you can easily access you can easily access sir now you people want to ask one question sir how to make the guys this is the simple basic settings sir huh? just basic settings okay how to open the system favorite this is the basic settings action <clears throat> everyone concentrate here yeah? now you people want to ask the question sir so this transaction how to make the favorite not only this any transaction whatever transaction you will use repeatedly that transaction how to make as a favorite example everyone example example so this is the favorite first one first place do one thing vendor invoice i want to make the favorite how to make that very simple first you can go to that transaction sap menu accounting accounts uh, financial accounting accounts payable and a document entry so example this transaction i want to make the favorite how to do that very simple everyone first you can select this transaction left click on the mouse left click on the mouse I mean please keep hold left click keep hold the left click on the mouse then you can drag it you can drag it you can drag it place the cursor in the favorite then you can uh, remove left click i mean you can unhide i mean what we called we are freeze whatever unfreeze or whatever release release or whatever okay again how to make very simple for example i want to make as a uh, payments outgoing payments this one also how to make as a favorite so select that one whatever transaction you can use repeatedly select that transaction first you can click on uh, left side mouse and you can keep it don't release you can keep it okay you can click on that you can click on hold and you can move you can move and place the cursor point in uh, favorite and you can release then that will come sir this is drag and drop just like drag and drop sir instead of drag and drop uh, is there any other way is there any other way drag and drop very simple other way also there example uh, select the favorite right click on mouse and click on insert t code insert transaction here insert transaction simply you can enter the t code example uh, fb65 you can enter that t code press enter 
So that transaction will come here. Now it's a favorite. Now it's a favorite, the transaction. What you will do now, either you can go through path or either you can use T through T code. Otherwise, simply you can double click on here. I want to post invoice. Double click on here. That will come. You can post. You can post the transaction. Favorite. Not only this, any transaction, whatever transaction you can use repeatedly, that transaction, that transaction you will make as a favorite. If you make as a favorite, that transaction will come in the first list. Even if you double click, simply you can double click on it, then you can use it. Instead of using the T code, instead of going the path, simply I will make as a favorite. Do one thing everyone, even if I close the system, for example, if I close the system, I am closing the system, you can open once again, that favorite is there, that favorite is not close until you can close. Every day you can come, log into the SAP system, then enter username and password. Enter username and Hare Krishna. Enter here, favorite will never close. So I don't want to go SAP menu. I don't simply I can use this T code every day. Some end users, you know, na, end users will use only specific T codes. Maybe they can create master data, they will post specific accounting entries, they will generate specific reports. So that T codes you will make as a favorite. So you can save the time instead of going the path, instead of using T code, simply you can double click on here, you can use it. Okay, that one, make the favorite, okay. So everyone, next step, next one. Example, next one, concentrate here everyone. Now the favorite and SAP menu. Go to extras, go to extras, click on your settings. Everyone concentrate here, concentrate here. Display favorite at end list. Now favorite in first list, SAP menu is second list. Now I want SAP menu want to first list, this favorite want to second list. How to do that? Very simple everyone, click on this T code, display favorite on end list, then click on here, okay. See now, S favorite in second list, SAP menu is first list. And go to extras, settings, remove this tick mark. Click on here, okay. Click on here, okay, like this. Everyone, everyone, concentrate here, everyone. The next one. Sir, even I don't want to see the SAP menu. I don't want to see the SAP menu. I required only favorite. That's it. I don't want to see this. How to hide, unhide SAP menu. How to hide and unhide SAP menu. How to hide? Very simple, everyone. Again, go to extras, settings. Here, do not display menu, only display, only display favorite. Do not display menu, only display favorite. Click on here, okay. See here, menu is hide, only favorite. And go to extras, settings, remove the tick mark of do not display menu, only favorite. Remove this tick mark and click on here, okay. Some basic settings, everyone. Click on this, click on that, okay. Basic settings. And everyone, everyone, concentrate here, everyone. Concentrate here. In the real time, what happened? Real time, what happened? Here, here. In the real time here, the company logo will come here. 
your comp your client company logo will come here yeah in this place how to hide an unhide company logo so abappers will set up your company logos okay how to hide an unhide company logo very simple everyone go to extras settings then uh, this one do not display the picture do not display the picture picture click on your okay see here this picture will going to hide and now to unhide the picture go to extras settings settings then uh, remove this tick mark click on your okay okay basic settings everyone go to extras settings basic setting first one display favorite at end list what is meant by first one first one boleto this favorite will come second one sap menu in first one this one display favorite in end list do not display menu only display in favorite means we can hide and unhide the menu bar this one menu bar and do not display picture means it can be help hide and unhide the picture hide and unhide the picture and uh, display technical names display technical names means to hide and unhide the end user t codes first step only i explain and you the t codes this is the one okay then click on here okay just basic settings everyone the next one next question next one next setting everyone concentrate here how to remove the transaction as a favorite how to remove the transaction in the favorite how to add the transaction in favorite how to remove the transaction in favorite how to add very simple either you can drag it and drag out otherwise select the favorite right click and insert the transaction you can enter specific t code it will going to add in the favorite then how to remove from the favorite very simple select the transaction right click then delete from favorite right click delete from the favorite right click and delete from the favorite it will going to delete from the favorite then now what you need to do either you can use through t code or either you can use through a uh, path uh, note it down full form of t code everyone please note it down full form of t code t code full form is called transaction code t code note it down everyone t code full form is called transaction code t code full form is called transaction code Uh, somebody working in delight who is he somebody working in delight in the safety project who is he somebody joined from delight today it is not dying joined up uh. anyway everyone i want to tell one thing everyone uh this sunday and monday sunday and monday now i am coming to office why because my project is uh, going to go live okay our project is going to go live actually sunday monday is a go live activities so now i am in available on hyderabad this sunday and monday so in case anyone want to meet directly in case if you want to discuss any clarification anything you want you can meet me okay you can meet me okay so address and all i will tell you later whoever want to meet 
that person only i will tell the address where i am where you want to come okay more clarification in case anything you want I mean subject point of view but not much time not more time just five to ten minutes that's it i don't want to give more than that why because i am very busy with my go live activities my project is going to live actually i'm busy with that even though if you want to come uh then i can give you i can discuss five to ten minutes in case if you required any clarification that's it okay do you got my point everyone yes no okay Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The next one, next setting. So what we discussed now, up to now, what settings we discussed? One is we discussed in the favorite. One is to understand the path and decode. And one is extras settings, this one. Anyone, any doubts? These settings, any doubts in the these settings? No doubt, huh? Any doubts you can ask now. Okay. Yeah. So Venkat here. So can we change these kind of a changes in the production environment uh, when we are working with the clients? Uh, 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 uh. Come again. Okay. So when we are doing on the production, the client server. So mm. can we make for our feasibility for our easiness? Can we do these kind of a changes in the? Ah, uh, you can do. You can do. Okay. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. So all so the if it is possible, if it is possible, how to uh, maximize and minimize the screen like uh, we are doing in Excel. Whatever steps you are, I'm explaining now, same thing you can execute there, no problem. Oh. Same basic oh. settings you can execute, no problem. For example, in case you are end user, you are end user, you they will give access only specific T codes. So that T codes you will make as a favorite. There is no issue actually. Everyone, now one more setting. Sir, uh, everyone in the mobile, example in the mobile, there is an, a themes. Did anybody, every time you are uh, browsing the mobile, uh, there is a themes. Themes means, anyone tell me what is meant by themes? Themes, Boleto? Wallpaper, screen favors. Ah, very good. Colors, we change the color. Bold, italics, blah, 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 X, Y, Z. So example, everyone. Uh, I'm not interested in this blue color. I'm not interested in this blue color. I want to change the colors. I'm not interested in this. So maximum people follow this color, green color. But some people, no, no. I'm not interested in this color. So what I want to do? what I want to do, everyone. So everyone, uh, instead of practicing these activities on the production system, you can take practicing server. So you can contact to Lakshmi ma'am. You can arrange your server. So all the things you can make as a practice, okay? First you can practice in the practicing server. Then later you can do whatever execute you want, you can do it, okay? Everyone, now my target is, now my target is, I want to change this color. How to change? Very simple. Very simple. Even, sir, this is very small uh, letters. It will come. I want to see something big, more. Increase the size. Increase and decrease the size. Okay. Very simple, everyone. Very simple. Here, you want to go here. Customize local layout. You want to go here. Click on this. Click on this and select here options. Select here options. And here, everyone. Example here. Uh, for example, SAP signature. It's a default thing actually, green. I want red actually. I want red. Red and uh, apply and OK. Sir, why it's not changed? So it can be applicable from the new screen onwards. From the new screen onwards. If you open new screen, click on this button, create new session. 
create new sets here, the red color will come. Red color. Even if I close the system, even if I close the system, if I close the system, open once again, click on your logon. There is that word. Let's see how it will come. It's a red now, red color. Yes, sir, I even I don't want the interested rate. How to change? Very simple. Go to customizing options. Then here, color settings. Same process for all systems. Okay. And uh, purple. Here, purple. And green. And gold color. Let it be. Make it green. So how to make, click on your apply and OK. So when it will be affected? From the new screen onwards, it will be Open new screen, open new screen. Click on this, new screen will going to open. See now it's a green. Even, even if you close the system, open once again, that time onwards, it will, now onwards it will be green actually. Go on mute everyone, please. See, and now it's in green. Okay. How look like green is good. Huh? Everyone, concentrate everyone. Sure. I want to increase this font size. I want to increase this font size. So go to again, this one. Click on your options. So here there is a font. Here, font. guys, go and mute everyone. Please, my dear students. I'm repeating once again, everyone. Uh, click on your uh, customize local layout options. So we are click on your font settings here, 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 everyone. Click on your font settings. For example, now it's showing 12. Now it's showing 12. And uh, this is the font format. I want to increase the size. How to increase? So click on your select and see here, this is the increase the size. For example, I want uh, uh, 18, 18 size. Then I want uh, bold, some bold. You can observe here, sample, you can observe here. For example, I want uh, uh, 15, you can observe here. If I click on press enter, you can observe here, everyone. I want uh, 18 and I want uh, 20 and uh, I want bold italic or bold and uh, which themes you want font which font you want I want uh, this font you can observe here then click on your ok and uh, this will appear and apply and ok Sir, what, where it will reflect it? It will reflect it new screen onwards. If you open new screen, if you open new screen, see here, font is increased now. See? Sir, I want to decrease size. Very simple. Go to here. If you go, customizing, customizing local layout, options, here you can decrease the size. I want 12. 12, maximum 12 you can enough. And you can click on bold something. And you can change any layout. And click on your OK. Then apply. Then OK. Then open new session. Open new session. See now again same thing. Even if I close, if I I did I did some settings, if I close all, then open again. That is also one instead of open new session. Username and password. Okay. Setting options here, everyone. 
can take comma uh, something is there, no? Which font is good actually? Okay, this is the one. And one more thing, uh, this one. Uh, this is the font and this is the themes actually, colors. You can take SAP signature default one. Click on your apply, then okay. And it will be reflected new screens almost. Okay. New screens also. It will reflect. Everyone, I will ask one question. One more question I will ask. I will ask one more question. Example, everyone. Example. If I if I open uh, example Google, for example, any Microsoft Google or uh, Edge, whatever. If you open this, one second, one second. Everyone, this is called, uh, uh, let's open Google instead of this. I will show you an example, everyone. Anyway, uh, let's take anyone. For example, everyone here, I'm using some activity. In this screen, everyone, you can easy process everyone. In case if I want to open new page, what can I do? In, in this, I want to open new page. What can I do, everyone? New tab. Ah, this one. If you click on this plus, new tab here, here, new tab. If I click on this plus, new tab will come, new tab. Even my yeah, new tab will come like this. So this is one tab, this is one tab, and this is one more tab. In case if you want one more one new one more tab, I want to open. How to do that? You click on your plus here. If you click on one more tab, will come. One more tab, one more tab will come. Means here we are trying to open multiple tabs. Regularly we are using this. Then then you you people want to ask one question. Sure. How to open the new tabs in SAP? So in the Google, regularly you people using in the Google, in case if you want to open new page, the so click on your new tab. The new tab will going to open. This is the basic settings, everyone. Okay, this is the basic settings. My intention is everyone want to understand the SAP from the basics how to open the SAP system to how to execute the project. That is my intention. From the basics, you need to learn. Okay. So everyone, example, example, everyone, concentrate here. Now I open only one screen. Now I open only one screen. Example, click on your log on. Now I open only one screen. Let it be, let's open one screen. Click on your SAP logon. Then enter username and password. So now I'm in one screen. So I want to open uh, one more screen. I want to open one more screen. One more tab I need to open. How to open that? Very simple, everyone. There is an option, this one, this one. Create a new session. Create new session. Click on this, click on this, create new session. See here, one more tab will going to open here. Now it's a two tabs actually, one and two. So this is also SAP easy access. 
and this is also SAP Easy Access, two screens. And I want to open one more tab. What can I do? Click on this, click on this. Now it's three, one, two, three. Let's see here, one, two, three, three here. Okay, now it's a three, one, two, three. Otherwise, you can use the shortcut key slash wo. Slash wo is the shortcut key. Sh don't call shortcut key. T code. T code slash wo is the to open the new session. And uh, click on your OK. Press enter. See now. Use tap. Huh? Right, Krishna. Wait. Slash wo. Enter. Generate out huh? C4. I'm repeating once again slash wo, wo. Press enter, enter, then generate, generate. So my system is something slow. It will take some time, time actually. One, two, three, four, five. One more, one more. Slash wo, enter and generate. One, two, three, four, five, six. Everyone, note it on one note, everyone. Note it on one note. Note it on one note, everyone. <clears throat> to open the new sessions, to open the new sessions, T code slash wo. T code slash wo. <clears throat> In the standard SAP, note it down clearly, everyone. In the standard SAP, maximum, 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 we are going to open, maximum, we are going to open six number six sessions maximum we are going to open six sessions maximum we are going to open six sessions okay Maximum we are open six sessions in the standard SAP. Okay. Everyone done, everyone noted. Done. Yes, no. Unmute and speak. Yes. 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 Silesh, can you read the note what you noted? Remaining people, please check it out. In the in the standard SAP system, maximum we are going to open six sessions. Six sessions. In transaction the code per sessions, new open session. Transaction code is slash O. Slash O. Transaction code means what is mean by transaction code? Anyone? Anyone? What is mean by transaction code? T codes. Shortcut in SAP. Okay. It is similar to shortcut key. In the MS office, we are called as a shortcut keys. But in the SAP, we are called as a T codes, similar to shortcut like that. Transaction code. Every transaction we have one path and we have one T code like that. Okay. And uh, for example, for example, in the Excel, for example, in the Excel, either you can click on copy, either you can click on copy. Otherwise, you can use Control C. This is the menu menu. And control C is the shortcut key. Same way here also. In case if you want to open new session, click on this. Otherwise, you can use the shortcut key here. Don't call as a shortcut key, call as a T codes. So how many I open now? One, two, three, four, five, six. I already opened six. 
maximum I trying to open in the standard SAP 6. In case if you try to open one more, what happened? If I try to open one more, what happened? So click on your new, click on this. I'm trying to open one more. See, the message will come like this. Maximum number of sessions is reached. Standard SAP six session. Okay. Uh, you people want to ask one question. Sir, how to increase the sessions? Okay, you said maximum six, but I want to set up maximum eight, maximum nine. I want to set up the settings. It will come later, everyone, not required now. Okay. Standard process, we will follow maximum six. In case if you want to increase the maximums, maybe not required. In case if you want to do the setting, that will come later. So everyone, you people want to understand on the production system, on the production system, the end user will use this SAP Easy Access screen to post the accounting entries, to create the master data. Master data means GL creation, vendor creation, customer creation, asset creation. That is called master data, the SAP terminology. We are called as a master data. Then, like uh, accounting entry posting, then report generation, they will use this screen. They will use this screen. Sir, now you people want to ask. Sir, in the consultant, consultant will use this which screen? Consultant will use the which screen? Consultant will use which screen? Everyone? Consultant will use SPRO screen. SPRO screen. SPRO means this is a one of the T code. But some people will give the definition. Different, different authors will give different, different full names. But this is one T code actually. SPRO is a one T code. The consultant on the development system will do the configuration in SPRO screen. SPRO screen. Everyone, concentrate here, everyone. Concentrate here. Here, in the command box, in the command box, you can enter SPRO. You can enter SPRO. So press enter button in the keyboard, enter. And select, click on your SAP reference IMG. Click on your SAP reference IMG. Click on your SAP reference IMG. And this is called here example. He want to create the company. He want to create company name, company. How to create? So this is the path. Enterprise structure. And uh, definition, financial accounting new. Here you will create the defined company. So this is the path. In case if you want to create the company, you want to come this path. Enterprise structure, definition, financial accounting new, defined company. This is the path. Sir, what is the T code? So if you, for example, if you double click on this execute button double click on this execute button click on your new entry here they will create the company i will explain you how to create the company but this is the path actually what you people understand this is the path sir what is the t code where i i see the t code i see the t code where i see the t code very simple everyone how to see the t code how to see the t code everyone let's see <coughs> one second Go to additional information, additional information, display keys and IMG activities. It will going to unhide the T codes. Unhide the T codes. So click on your IMG activities. So last four digit is the T code. Last four digit is the T code. Uh, OX15 is the T code. 
OX15. Please remember OX15. Everyone, in case consultant want to create the company, either you want to go through path. SAP Easy Access Screen is the home screen. Wherever you go, then you come back to home screen. SAP Easy Access Screen. How to go to path? So how you can go? SPRO, enter. SAP Reference IMG. This is the path. Enterprise Structure definition financial accounting new and define company you just double click on this execute button click on your new entry here they will create that is the path no sir i don't want to come the path i want to come the t code you can go back to sap easy access screen so here you can use the t code transaction code what is the transaction code for creating company anyone please unmute and speak Everyone, please. O X something now. O X one five. One five. O X one five. Okay. Go to O X one five. Press enter button in the keyboard. Enter. Then click on here new entry. So this is the T code. Here you can create. Means what you people want to understand here. Maybe end user transaction. Maybe consultant transaction is a not a matter. Every transaction have one T code and one path. One T code and one path. So how to hide and unhide? Consultant T codes. Even it is hide or even it is unhide, it will work. That is not a matter. How to unhide and unhide? SPRO, enter, SAP reference IMG. And here, for example, uh, example I'm showing. So, sir, now all the T codes in hide. How to unhide? Tell me, everyone, please. Unmute and speak. Go to ah, additional information, additional information, display keys and display IMG keys. activities. Last four digit is the T code actually. For defined company, what is the T code? OX15. And define credit controlling area. What is the T code? OB45. And create company code. What is the T code? OX02. Last four digit is the T code. Last four digit is the T code. Okay. This is the process of you can hide and unhide the consultant T codes. Consultant T codes. <coughs> Everyone, so then you want to ask one question actually, sir, you want to ask one question, sir, you are saying SPRO screen is the, SPRO is the T code. I'm saying, I'm saying SPRO is our T code actually, but different, different authors will give different, different full names. What is the full name of SPRO? There is a lot of... <laughs> Full names, different, different authors will give different, different full names. And straight away, I'm telling SPRO is the T code. Sir, what is the path for SPRO? Even I want to see the path also. This is the T code. Then what is the path? Everyone, this is the home screen, everyone. SAP Easy Access Screen means it's a home screen, actually. So what is the path? Very simple. Go to SAP menu and here you can go to tools and customizing tool and IMG activities here. SPRO execute the project. This is the path SAP menu tools customizing IMG and double click on this execute button. This one SPRO double click on this and click on your SAP reference IMG. So this is called SPRO screen, IMG screen. Here you can do the configuration on the development system. So otherwise, sir, I don't want to come the path, sir. Why path? Simply I can use your SPR. Enter, then enter. So what you people want to understand? Every transaction, every transaction have one path and one T code. Maybe it's an end user transaction or maybe it's an a consultant transaction. 
okay maybe it's hand working on a consultant transaction okay so everyone anyone any doubts anyone any doubts any clarifications any doubts so venkat on the screen i have a doubt ah tell me tell me please so uh, when we are using the multiple screens how many maximum screens we can use to uh, maintain our speed is there any speed change when we are running the uh, multiple screens ah huh? sorry yes. come again sorry please so, speak louder like my, so i'm i'm using right now two screens for mm -hmm. sap mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. i'm pulling the data maybe mm -hmm. for ap so mm -hmm. another screen is running for the argl mm -hmm. ar mm -hmm. data is pulling so i'm using a third third See, I am hmm. running another C code. So, hmm. will it be impact on the speed of the first and second on the third? No, no, it no. It will work. No, not impact. For example, for example, here this is the Google everyone. So, first screen I will use for the YouTube. Then second screen, second tab I can use for the Gmail, and third tab I can use for the some other some other work. There is no impact. It will work all the tabs. It will work real time. same way in the sap also one screen you can use spro configuration one screen other activity one screen other activity yeah it's work real time it's not impact so okay. it's again depend on the internet now venkat so if you are working on a multiple screen on the internet so if you are browsing on the multiple screen mm -hmm. it depends on the internet speed it will work if it is a less ah. speed mm -hmm. so it will it will stuck or it will pop up so mm -hmm. same way it will depend on the internet or it is depend on the server which we are working on it's working it's depend upon the server okay okay so we can use multiple screens yeah yeah okay thank you yeah yeah um uh, any others other questions so everyone uh, basically tomorrow tomorrow we have the class tomorrow saturday we have the class why because maybe monday no class why because sunday sunday monday i am in hyderabad okay maybe monday is no class that is the reason i will take the class on saturday tomorrow we have the class please join the class on tomorrow and please contact to lakshmi ma'am to add on whatsapp group then to share the practice material okay today onwards you people want to practice some basic settings then uh, tomorrow we will enter into the subject tomorrow onwards we will start enterprise structure <laughs> so tomorrow onwards no one even one class even one class don't miss every class you can attend the attend and uh, class then after class you can watch google drive video then uh, uh, you can you can take the print out of practice material you can do the practice during the practice in case any error will come post into the whatsapp group and other people also can going to help in case nobody can help then i will help okay during the practice any errors will come then i will help okay so to can help to each other why i can create the whatsapp group means to share the subject don't put the in the group good morning good night happy weekend no don't send that type of messages mothers day fathers day no no the day not no not required okay please use that whatsapp group only for the subject okay only sap related things class related information you can use that whatsapp group okay no no mothers day no fathers day no no that's not required for the group okay and uh, yeah maybe you got my point please con please coordinate with lakshmi ma'am okay practice material uh, google drive videos uh, anything you can coordinate with lakshmi ma'am subject related point you can contact me okay other things even fees related things you can contact to lakshmi ma'am okay she will help you thanks everyone thanks for joining let's meet tomorrow the same time same uh, link venkat one second i, I need your help hmm. so actually uh, i lost your numbers my mobile is uh not working so just i need your number do you want lakshmi ma'am number both your number and lakshmi ma'am number because i lost all the contacts in my mobile okay my number do you want my number yes note it down 
Anybody yeah. tell me my number, my dear students? Nobody knows my number. Nine zero three two. Ah no no no, I... not that number actually, not that number. Note it down. You can use this number. Seven zero three two. Yeah, very good. Seven zero three two three seven two zero three four. You can use this number, everyone. The nine zero number. Uh, I am unable to receiving notifications actually. I don't know what is the problem. You can use this number, seven zero three two three seven two zero three four. You can use this number, and better note it on Lakshmi Ma'am number. You can. Venkat, can you repeat your number bit bit slow? Seven zero three two three because that is your number. Your telling speed, but we cannot catch seven zero three two three. You can note it on this number. I am telling one more Lakshmi Ma'am number. Seven zero three two three seven two zero three four. That is mine. Okay. Right. And one more Lakshmi ma'am number. Note it down. Nine eight four nine three. Hmm. Six three. Hmm. Eight nine eight. Okay. Eight, nine, contact eight. her. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks everyone. Bye everyone. We will meet tomorrow. Bye. Bye sir. Bye.